You might think you know Mercedes Benz, but there is some really impressive history at this specific location. And we came out here to find out more about it so that you can have a brand new appreciation for this iconic brand. Bob, such rich history here at your Mercedes Benz of Buffalo. You know, can you tell people, I guess, from the very beginnings of why this is such a fixture in this area? Well, I mean, we're 88 years a car dealership this year, and it's been through now three generations. So there's a little bit of family history there of, of knowing different people in the community. And the fact that we've been through the World War II and the Korean War and the Vietnam War and we've survived through all of these things, I think that that's kind of important in and terms of our history. You kind of look at it as kind of a reflection of what we've been dealing with recently. Can you kind of explain how your team has kind of brought you through the current situation that we're dealing with? Well, so, you know, a little bit more than a year ago, we, I was uh, vacationing and got a call from my son and said, you better come home because things are getting bad here mm -hmm. in New York State. And we came home and originally we looked like the governor shut us down in terms mm -hmm. of car sales. And um, we didn't know what would happen, but we got everybody together and we said, you know, we're just gonna have to make some sacrifices and get through this thing. And because we're kind of a tight-knit group, most of our employees have been with us a long time. Um, in the beginning, we stuck together and then slowly but surely the faucet got turned on and uh, now we're doing very well. You referenced your son. Can you tell us about why this truly is a family-owned business? Well, it, it started with my uncle in 1933 and he had three brothers, two of which worked for him, one which was my father who was a doctor. Mm -hmm. and um, they basically ran the business. And then we got World War II breaks out, they stopped building cars, they converted the dealership to a machine and screw factory to build parts for the warplanes. Mm -hmm. And then they got back in the business when, when the car, um, when the factories opened up again. Right. And it's just probably because of family that we were able to get through all of that because they didn't have a lot of employees and they did the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker routine. So this is the picture, huh? This is the picture. This is Anthony LaMastra. That picture of, is him signing the uh, first franchise agreement with the Dodge Brothers. Oh, wow. So when he retired in 1973, we gave him this picture that was done, uh, a portrait. They, they took the print and they transferred it to canvas and we presented it at, to him at his retirement and said this would hang in the dealership. Oh, okay, so this was a gift, this whole, yes. oh, that's wonderful. Yes, and I know sometimes I think the eyes follow me when oh, I geez. walk down the hall here, so. So, you truly are buying a piece of Buffalo history when you invest in a Mercedes-Benz, would you say? I would say so. Since we were the first and still the only, um, think Mercedes-Benz in Buffalo, you think of us.